Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at which time tracker is the best for us in the 2023. I found four applications that are like the most featured one, and those are a few that I've used in a few weeks, months before. So this is totally just like my own opinion, my own experiences, but depending on what I'm looking for, uh, let's say speaking about if you are looking to work with a teammate, if you're looking to work, if you work with some team workers and you want to have like a business account so you can all benefit from the same uh, platform that sort of depends on you guys so first of all I do have Togo I do have the harvest application there's one called clockify and last one in my own opinion which is my favorite one ever hour so first of all we do have Togo speaking about the Togo when you create your account you can have a free version up to 30 days free trial mode and once you do have that, you can either upgrade or stick around with the free version. The free version has some chart tracker, timeline, auto tracker, idle detection, promotor timer, and much more. Now, speaking about the startup plan, I don't think like this can be useful for you because if you're just getting started and you have like a small business, a small team to work, uh, we do have project template, we do have tasks, we have time rounding, we do have available rates, and everything. Uh, that I just speak about the free version, but I think that the starter plan is a little bit high enough if you're just getting started. So I think like the Toggle application is more than enough if you do have a free version. So uh, you have the tracker here. Here is appearing like a calendar. Today is the 29, and here I can choose this week, and I can go for yesterday, and then I can go for today. So here I can just start to mark this as available and then I can just select some tax if I wanted to or I can create my own project. So let's say for example, YouTube videos. And here's the name of my client. I can create a name of, of my client and I can create my project. So in here I can just start to track my my time here to just sell an animation. So really, really, really easy guys. So I'm gonna hit into stop and I'm gonna go with the next application that can be uh, let's say like fitable for us if you want to start with something a little bit more high and you have like some kind of uh, budget to optimize this and this one is called the harvest now the harvest application uh, has a lot of tools we do have the time tracker in here as you can see it looks a little bit more simple and easy to use we have the pending approval submitted approved expenses you can add projects you can add some more teams and you can manage all your people who are in here now if you want to compare between the harvest application and the toggle application i think that it can be a little bit more easier to use this uh, app so here's my time tracker i'm gonna hit into start your first time now since today and hit into uh time track like this so really really easy to use now uh if i go into the pending approval here is going to be peering all the times that I've created and uh, the person who, who is working with me needs to improve my uh, my billing time, my billing time tracker. So it's really, really easy to use if you want to work with some team workers. I think like this app can be helping us a lot to get started with a small business. Now, speaking about small business and low budget, I guess Clockify can be really, really great for you they have a basic plan so here into the basic plan they do have templates they have profiles they have timesheet they have time audit and they do have the add time for others so the add time for others is going to be helping us a lot to work here into clockify here is the time tracker as you can see it's really really easy to use and here i can choose actually the same project so i'm going to go into project i'm going to hit for example youtube I'm going to go into select client and here you can add your own client. Let's say, for example, Madonna and create Madonna client. And here in the template, I can upgrade my own um, account to use some templates. In my case, I just want to stick around with the free version. I'm going to go into create. And just like that, here is my project already created. And there we go. And here, I can enable this option. So this is a paid day. I'm going to go into start. And there we go. 
type what you're working on so here let's say for example I am um, doing some CEO for YouTube and hit into enter now if I get into stop what's going to happen here is that this uh, time tracker is going to be sent into this week scheduled so as you can see here is my work here is the client here is today the description and the time here that I've worked and I can go into the three dots and it deleted if I don't want to see this so we're gonna hit into calendar this is another way that we can see all our tracking stuff and lastly guys I want to show you something that is usually get, get, getting started if you want some advanced tools and you want this for yourself and you don't want to pay absolutely like I mean not for everything but pay like a low price with the toggle the harvest and the clockify application I think like the best option for us if you're just getting started or I mean if you want to do a little bit with more control more features and we're full of the price that will be ever hour ever hour has a lot of integrations if you're using Asana, ClickUp, Trello in my case for example I'm using Notion Notion is an amazing place to project management and it's totally for free so it do have an integration into ever hour so as you can see the light version it only cost five dollars we can add 10 users it works inside Trello, Notion and this other application I'm not pretty sure which one is it uh, to do list clients, bill rate, budget, invoicing, log time entries, reminders, schedule fast and more so uh, if I choose even the jail leave version I believe it can be a little bit more high but it's truly truly worthy to stick around with the ever hour so once you hit into sign up what I want to do is to create my account so because you guys can see how easy it is to use Avonote so what I just need to do is to confirm my account really really easy and I'm gonna hit in here I'm gonna go into the X mark and go into verify my account like this really really simple now take a look into the Evernote we do have the home section the time the projects our client our teams and our reports so it's really easy to use Evernote uh, you can download the application you can add this as an extension if you want to do if I go into the home section what I can do is to connect uh, some integrations with my app so I can hit into connect and I can retrieve some data from uh, let's say for example notion I just told you that I use notion and here I can go in time and try to start my time here and you can track that in here and here's gonna be appearing like your calendar the exact date um, how many works per hour you're gonna be working here I'm gonna go into the pause I'm gonna hit into business development and hit into play so if I hit into play this is the moment when I'm starting to work and here is my total appearing in here so uh, that totally depends on you guys if you want to use Clockify or Harvest or the Toggle or the Evernote so I think that for my own project for working into YouTube for working for one person or for myself as a freelancer it's really really easy simple and affordable to use Evernote but here are some f more applications more recommendations for you to check it out so hopefully guys it was a very useful video for you now don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel uh, hopefully guys um, you can choose between one of those applications you can get the link down below in the description so you can try it out totally for free these four applications so you can uh, choose one of those so thank you once again guys and I'll see you on the next video